Hello, everyone. Toadie's cadaveric demonstration is on the anterior compartment of the thigh. To determine the orientation of the image, superiorly lies the abdominal region, inferiorly is the anterior aspect of the thigh, medially is the groin, and laterally the elevation is formed by the anterior superior iliac spine. The great saphenous vein is well appreciated here, along with its tributaries. This fatty layer you see is the subcutaneous tissue. The long saphenous vein is seen coursing obliquely toward the saphenous opening, where it drains venous blood into the femoral vein. A few tributaries of the great saphenous vein can be identified in this image. The superolateral vein is the superficial circumflex iliac vein. The vein draining from the abdominal wall is the superficial epigastric vein. The tributary on the medial aspect is the superficial external pudendal vein. In addition, superficial inguinal lymph nodes can be observed near the inguinal region, close to the saphenous opening. This cadaveric image demonstrates the superficial muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh. The anterior superior iliac spine can be seen at the superolateral aspect. Let us begin the demonstration from lateral to medial. The lateral most muscle is the tensor fascia lata, which inserts into the iliotibial tract. Next, the bulk of the anterior compartment is formed by the quadriceps femoris consisting of three superficial muscles. Laterally, the vastus lateralis. In the middle, the rectus femoris. Medially, the vastus medialis. Running obliquely from the anterior superior iliac spine towards the medial side of the thigh is the long strap-like sartorius muscle. Medial to the sartorius, in the upper part of the thigh, lies a short triangular muscle. The iliopsoas. The iliopsoas is a conjoint muscle formed by the iliacus and the psoas major. Upon further dissection, we can now appreciate the deep muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh. In this image, the rectus femoris and sartorius have been cut and removed to expose the deeper structures. The cut ends of these muscles are visible. Here is the proximal cut end of the rectus femoris, and here is its distal cut end. Similarly, distal cut ends of the sartorius can also be seen. Laterally, the cut ends of the tensor fascia lata are also identified. Deep to the rectus femoris lies the vastus intermedius. The other quadriceps muscles, vastus medialis and vastus lateralis, remain intact and are well demonstrated here, as the tensor fascia lata and sartorius have been removed. At the superior part of the specimen, the iliacus and psoas major are clearly visible. Both muscles converge together to form the iliopsoas tendon. This concludes the demonstration of the anterior compartment of the thigh using cadaveric images. Thank you.